Is it okay to cuss? The Bible doesn't exactly clarify which words not to say. I think another another way to say that is, does God care what we say? Like, does, does God have a stake in the words that we use and what we say and how we say it and who we say them to? How do I talk with people about their religion that isn't the truth? So all the religions are doing the same thing. Um, that cannot be true to Christianity. Either Christianity is the only way or it is not the way because Christ himself said so. It's really hard to defend the Christian faith when you're not going to use scripture. I'm not going to yield the fact that this is a world created by God according to the scriptures and it is the way he said it is. And so I'm not going to pretend like that's not the case to have this conversation because that's a foolish conversation. We know God made it and so we go through his lens and that's where using the scriptures matters. How do we know the Bible to be true? So if God cannot lie and he gave us these scriptures to be able to use, then we have to trust that it is all true from Genesis 1-1 all the way through the book of Revelation. You look at almost every other religion or system, they're predicated on the notion that humans are basically good, right? Whether that's uh, another world religion or whether that's a political philosophy like communism, there's this belief that people are good and they'll do the right thing. And yet Christianity is one of the only worldviews that say, no, man's heart is deceitful and inherently sinful. And How can you help someone through the process of being saved other than praying? I love the discipleship process, the, the the process of walking with the Lord, walking with others as you walk with the Lord and you grow in Him. Lord, we just pray if there's anybody here that uh, has been listening today, uh, that has tuned into this podcast who doesn't know you, but they want to know you, that they just can can be so bold just to ask. And, and, and if now is the time to for them to give their lives to you, that, that right now they just pray, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know that I need a Savior, and I repent of, of what I've done and how I've lived my life. From this point forward, I want to follow you. I want to live for you. That might be their prayer right now.